Welcome to GDP's Artificial Intelligence 2020. My name is Felipe Bellini, and this is a video demonstration for Project 2, addressing the class's lecture by James Kelly at Fenchel College. Project 2 regards advanced behaviors such as formations, flocking, and path following. This tech demo is also a display of a game that uses the Entity Component System. The AI system is completely detached from the main game, and it operates on the game objects all by itself. Meanwhile, other systems are also propagating changes in the game world. As an example, this project combines the physics with the AI system to update velocities, rotations, and positions of the game objects. So here's our scene. We have a big flat plane where the T fighters are colliding against. We have a couple of cubes here that are checkpoints for the path following behavior. So let's check it out. So I'm pressing the keys from 1 to 0 in the keyboard to show the formations first. So there's circle formation, V formation, you can move close to it. Square formation, line formation, and finally, two rows formation. So I'm moving back to the circle formation to show off the path following. So there's two ways this can go. Uh, following the path right and following the path left, which it basically means that it's the same path but going forwards in a vector of points or going backwards in the vector. So by pressing 8, the formation will move, and it should be able to reach all of the checkpoints in our scene. In path following, we have a coordinator and we have the voids. The coordinator is also updated when the, the voids are moving. So the coordinator is the entity that holds the positions for the, the offsets for the, for the formation shapes. So when he moves, then the voids will move as well, because they have to follow uh, the offsets.
Yeah. So the chief fighters are reaching the final destination. Yeah. Great, in the same manner, I'm going to press the key 9 and I'm going to change the formation to something else. Let's say a line. And then let's move in the different direction. So here are our two fighters, they're moving. Notice how they uh, orient themselves towards their, their goal. Great, so they reach the last point in their traveling. Um, let's move over to flocking. So back in our simulation, now I'm going to go over flocking. Um, by default, um, I'm going to be using the weights of 130 for cohesion, separation, and alignment weights. So when I press 6, the voids will converge because they will flock. And if I play around with the weights, like separation for instance, I'm increasing separation, you can see they get more spread out, but if I go back they will they'll get closer to one another. Um, I can play around with uh, alignment, diminishing alignment, or then increasing them, increasing it. You can see some things going on. Um, I'm going to restart the simulation to show um, a behavior where we can see them spreading out into two separate flocks or more. So let's try this. So what I'm going to do for this is to have the, vo the voids form a V formation. In this test, and then I'm going to disable the V formation and then enable flocking, just so we can see them, them more spread apart. We should see maybe more flocks. Yes. 
Yes, like this. And I can play around with um, values for the weights again. Yeah, we can see what we're seeing here is two separate flocks, although they're going in the same direction. You can see that these guys are converging here and those guys are converging there. So another requirement that was in the project was that we should be able to go back and forth from formations to flocking. So the idea here is that I'm going to make the boys make a formation. I'm choosing the two lines formation. Then I'm going to flock. I'm going to disable the formation by pressing 5 again and then I'm going to press 6 to cause them to flock as you can see they're going their own way and then I can um, press 7 on the keyboard and they will go back to the last formation so all the keys that I have assigned on this project they can enable and disable the behavior but there were there was also a requirement to, to have a special key, which is zero, to, to stop the path following, for instance, and then there's seven, the one that we just pressed, to go back to the last formation. So for the zero key, I can um, press the formation here, tell it to follow the path, and if I press zero, it will just stop midway. It's two on the formation, but it's not updating the path, it's not following the path. I can enable it again by pressing 8 and 0 again to disable. Great. That concludes this presentation for this project. For more information, contact James Kelly or Felipe Bellini at Fenshaw College. Thank you.